people, I'm Ginny Metherill and I'm a fourth generation witch. A couple of weeks ago, I did a video on nine witchcraft practices that you can incorporate into your every day. And then people kept on asking me, do you do this every single day? And I thought, well, no, I don't. There are certain things I do every single day. So I thought we'd look at what I do to incorporate witchcraft into my everyday practice. Now you might have noticed that I haven't been here for a couple of weeks and that's because I went on holiday. I didn't actually go abroad on holiday. I had a holiday from home, which meant I gave myself a budget. I said, we're going to do nice things like, you know, go out for supper a couple of times, do this, do that. And I do it with all my children, but my children are teenagers and they don't like hanging out with their mother. So this I think will improve in a couple of years when they decide I'm not the un coolest person in the world. I must stop waffling. I'm just trying to tell you why I wasn't here last week. So with that said, let's look at my everyday witchcraft practice. Now bear in mind that I'm going to talk about things that I will do every day regardless of whether I am in my witchcraft practice, i.e. I'm working because, you know, this is my job, or I'm not working and I'm just, you know, with my family, or maybe on holiday, maybe just having a day off, whatever. And so I want to show what I actually do. So the first thing that I do unconsciously pretty much every single day is think about whether I'm protected or not. And there's two ways of doing this. Um, the first way is to use my trusty pendulum. And for those of you who have uh, followed me for any length of time, you will all know that I am completely and utterly obsessed with protection. And I go on and on and on about it. But that's because I get attacked a lot. Quite often it's because I've miffed some rather nasty entity and I've been attacked by its minions or whatever. However, I need to know that my defences are in place. And so my trusty pendulum is to port out. All I do is simply ask it, is everything OK? So if I ask the question to the pendulum, you'll see it starts to swing a lovely, yes, it is. I mean, if it says no then I have to investigate that and find out why it's saying no and what I need to do, whether it be demonic exorcisms or negative energy removal. It depends on what's happening within my home and why my pendulum is saying everything is not okay. I'll often pick up my pendulum and ask, am I okay, if I'm, for example, feeling a bit down in the dumps. It might be that I have picked something up. Now, as a witch who involves herself in, you know, slightly the, the seedier side of the occult practices occasionally, in a, um, I don't agree with that, I'm going to destroy you kind of way... As a witch who does that, when I leave my protective home, I am attacked by gosh knows what. But also, I've been doing this for so long now that I cannot be bothered to put protective bubbles on me when I go out just willy-nilly because I can't be bothered. So I don't. But I know, therefore, that I'm going to pick up things if I'm not careful. And so I am extremely careful about checking myself over. Hence, I use the, is this right? The second way that I check this particular aspect is to use my astral projective technique. I live in my house and it's surrounded by wood and fields. And so I will go in my astral body, because I can't be bothered necessarily to walk up to each part and just do a quick check around my land and see that those boundaries in place and I can see them. And this is something I teach all the time. You know, we, I think we did a bit of this in our last coven meeting. I taught everyone how to see magic because magic leaves traces. There is one other thing that I do all the time daily, regardless of where I am, simply because I like the smell more than anything else. And that is cleansing with incense. At the moment, I'm really into this particular rose incense stick, which I love. But one of my other favourite things to do is, actually, I haven't done that for a bit, is to use some sage, some dried white sage. And before anyone comes at me, no, it's never been near California. It's grown in a bloody polytunnel down near Barnstable. So it's not from the wild. Make sure your sage isn't. Now, with my incense stick, I will obviously light it. But what I'm doing with it is cleansing myself with smoke. And this is the um, root of the word smudge. Now, smoke cleanse enables me to feel if I've got 
anything attached to me, such as negative energy. This could be somebody else's negative energy. It could be my negative energy. And this is an especially good technique to use if you're feeling a bit down. Give yourself a quick smoke cleanse and you'll find that you'll feel better. So I'll take the joss stick round my head. Oh gosh. And I can tell you now that I've got something on me at the moment. The reason why I know is because as I'm moving the smoke across, it doesn't glide smoothly round the back of my head. It goes, boom, and I'm like, Oof. it gives a bump as it's going round. I don't feel a smooth glide across. So this tells me I've got something there. Now I'm going to give it a quick... Yeah, no, he's pulling off. I'm gonna pull it off. Mm. Anyway, I actually I feel better now. I've taken it off. So let me just take my joystick round, and I'll show you. Yeah. <laughs> right. I know that that's all done. I would normally go on to smudge the rest of my um, body with the smoke, but you get the general idea. So those are the two things that I'll do pretty much on a daily basis. It doesn't matter where I am. But there is one more thing that I'm going to add into the mix, which of course I do. And this is simply what we would call today mindfulness. I'm just aware of the energies around me. And I spend time being aware of the energies around me. For example, if I would go into an old building and it makes me feel cross, because quite often they do, I would tune in to the reasoning why old building is making me feel cross. And normally it's because there's some kind of earthbound spirit there. Witchcraft is actually just mindfulness about 90% of the time. And it's being aware of the little things that'll help you become more aware of yourself and your craft. If you want to learn more about witchcraft, do come and join me on Patreon. Go to patreon.com forward slash Ginny Metherill and come and join our coven. This is an online learning facility and I will show you these techniques but in much greater detail. They're really good fun meetings and you will learn so much, I promise. And there's no such thing as failure in witchcraft. We are all brilliant at it and I will show you how and if you're already in my coven well done just give me a like and a subscribe so the more the more subscribers I get the more videos I can make it's such an easy correlation isn't it but thank you for watching and I will see you next week <laughs>